Baraka to Yahweh. Baraka to Yahweh Shai. Baraka to Yahweh. Baraka to Yahweh Shai. Baraka to Yahweh. Baraka to Yahweh Shai. I want to give all praises, honors, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to the hopeful elect scattered at the four corners, pushing his word in truth and sincerity. And how was the name of the Heavenly Father in the Hebrew, who the world ignorantly calls God? God is just a title, man. Yahweh means he is, he to be, he exists. Yahweh Shai is the one and true name of our Savior, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Yahweh Shai means he delivers, he saves, he is salvation. Okay, and this is for the nation of Israel from Judah on down to Issachar, man, from the so called blacks all the way down to the so called, um, you know, Mexicans, man. And just get into a, a, a quick lesson, you know, on vengeance, okay? You know, this is, uh, you know, Lord willing, I'll be able to I'll do a two part, you know, this part would just be, you know, um, vengeance on the heathens, man. So this is this is Romans Romans twelve and nineteen. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, say it to Mosai. So the Mosai said, Hey man, Israel, don't go taking you know vengeance, you know, don't go seeking vengeance, you know, by yourself, within yourself, on your own self, man. Okay, you know, leave that wrath and that righteous anger up to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, because vengeance belongs to the Mosai. Vengeance is His and no one else. So we ain't supposed to be out here, out here trying to trying to seek vengeance ourselves, you know, like you know by go by by go doing something carnal, man. That's not that's not wise. Second Thessalonians one and six. Seeing it is a righteous thing. With the power to recompense tribulations to them that trouble you. That's right, man. It's the only right way and righteous way for us, Israel, to have vengeance upon the heathens is to have the Lord take that vengeance for us, man. Okay? So, any of these, you know, so any of these situations that we get into. Where you know heathen zone, you know, screwed us over for um centuries, man. It's the righteous thing to sigh and cry and pray unto Yahweh Shun Yahushai and let the most high take vengeance for us. For the most high taking vengeance for himself first and foremost, for you know, touching the apple of his eye, you know, Yasharala. So the most high has to get first dibs. Okay? So it's the it's the it's the it's the righteous way to let the most high take vengeance, man. And not us. This is uh, Ezekiel twenty-five. I'm gonna start from eleven. And I will execute judgment upon Moab, and they shall know that I am the Most High. Okay, by the time the Most High is done, you know the Most High had has already had vengeance on on Moab by dropping them bombs on them. You know, using Esau to jack them up. But that wasn't enough. Okay, that 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 wasn't true vengeance, man. <sighs> Now the Mosai is, is, is speaking, you know, 
through the prophet Ezekiel saying, and I will execute judgment upon Moab. And they shall know that I am the Mosai. So the Mosai is saying, by the time I'm done dealing with Moab, they're going to know who I am, man. They're going to know who the Mosai is. Verse 12. Thus saith the Mosai power. Because that Edom had dwelt, it's like it, because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and had greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus say the most high power, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom and I will cut off men and beasts from it and I will make it desolate from Teman and they of the Dan shall fall by the sword. So the Most High said, because Esau took it upon himself to take vengeance upon upon um, you know Judah, man. The Most High is going to the, the Most High is going to the Most High is going to seek vengeance. The Most High is going to take vengeance upon them, man. Okay, the Most High is going to you know wipe them out by the sword. Okay, and another word for a sword. You know, and and as as basically you know using you know um a weapon you know a gun, but the most side is gonna use those missiles, man. Those missiles, man, to take them out, point blank, period. Most side gonna cut them off. Verse fourteen. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. So the most side is going to use us. To take vengeance upon Edom. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fairy. And they shall know my vengeance, save the most high power. That's right, man. So the most high is going to get his vengeance. But we shall also get our vengeance as well. Not on our time. But through the will and the power of Yahweh Shem and Shai. The most high is going to put that spirit on us to fucking tear Esau from limb to limb, man. Everything Esau done done to us, we're going to do to them a hundredfold, all through the power of the Most High. Okay? That's how we can't just, you know, you got, you got, you got some camps out there, you know, trying to um, bear arms, man. Esau is still in his rulership. And if they was, and if they were spiritual, they would know that, you know, guns, and weapons in this, you know, and, and, you know, physical weapons in the society is Esau's blessings, man. Our, you know, blessing is, is, um, is all spiritual. So y'all here taking up guns, thinking y'all going to outgun Esau. It's complete madness and it's not spiritual. And that's not like mine with your high by y'all shy. Okay. We have to wait for the most high to, we got to wait for the most high to put his spirit on us. To seek vengeance. We can't do that shit on our own. Verse 15. Thus saith the most high power. Because the Philistines have dealt. By revenge. And have taken vengeance. With a deceitful heart. To destroy it. Of, of the old hatred. Therefore thus saith the most high. Power, behold, I will stretch out my hand upon the Philistines, and I will cut off the share Tims and destroy the remnant of the sea of coast, and will execute great vengeance upon them with furious rebuke, and they shall know that I am the most high when I shall lay my vengeance upon them. So the most high saying. He's going to get his vengeance on every nation, everybody, specifically and especially that damn devil Esau, who's a so-called white man. The most High is going to get him, man. And that's why Israel, we got to we gotta have patience, okay? We got to wait on the Yahweh Shem Yahweh We can't seek vengeance ourselves or we're going to just end up being destroyed, man, because we're not being spiritual, okay? We're not being in tune with the scriptures, man. We're not following the signs, okay? We're, 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 we're trying to, you know, proclaim our own will, and that's wicked, man. We got to do everything according to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh on his time.
Genesis 4 and 15. And the Most High said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth you, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Most High set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. So Cain was, you know, so you know, because of the wickedness that Cain committed by killing his brother, the Most High put that mark of leprosy on him. And Cain was in fear of his life because he knew he looked abominable. He knew he looked wicked. He knew he looked opposite to everyone that was on the earth at that time. Everyone was of, you know, had melanin. Cain didn't have melanin anymore, so he was telling the Most High, like, yo, they're going to kill me. So the Most High's telling him, like, yo, don't worry about it. Anybody going to touch you. Anybody who touches you, I will seek vengeance upon them. Vengeance, at the end of the day, will always belong to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, because it's, it's, it's rightfully His. Obadiah 1 and 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. Okay? Shame shall cover them, man. How? Because they're going to know that they touched the apple of the Most High's eyes. They're going to know that this whole time they had the, the, um, the Most High's people in hardcore bondage, and they're going to be shameful, man. Okay, for all the wickedness that they've done. But the scriptures tell you the most high shall take vengeance upon them, man. Because it's it's an Esau spirit to deeply, deeply just hate Jacob, man. Because of the blessing that we got. And Esau has never let that shit go, man, since the very beginning, man. I'm gonna get that since the very beginning. Esau was like, nah, man, like, I got to get my brother Jacob because, you know, he he, he got the blessing, you know, because Jacob got the blessing that Esau wanted. When you read the scriptures in Genesis, you know, 25 to 27, it tells you Esau sold his birthright, but it, all, it was all set up through the spirit anyways. This is Genesis 27 and 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourn for my father are at hand when I will slay my brother Jacob. So Esau's mentality from the you know beginning was like, Yo, I'm going to kill my brother, man. And that's what he's been doing, man. Okay? Just that, that, that deep-seated hatred he has, he has towards us. It's all spiritual. It's just deeply rooted in the spirit. He can't help himself but to hate us. But at the end of the day, everything that he's done unto us, the Most High said, the Most High said, let me go back to that. In, um, in Obadiah, the Most High said it, man. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and I shall cut thee off ever. So the Most High is going to get his vengeance upon Edom, man, and cut him off forever, man. That whole Esau, you know, um, Esau and his pigmentation, that, 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 that leprous is going to be cut off forever, man. Esau as a nation is going to be gone. <coughs> and this is just the vengeance Yahweh Shinnah was shy has for these heathens, man. And with that, I want to give all praises, honors, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Citation to the hopeful elect scattered at the four corners. Pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom.